Yeah, the possibility of a gas shutoff here is a big concern. At least half of the residents are senior citizens. The co-op says it doesn't have the money to make all the needed repairs in time for the deadline, and time is literally running out. It's heartbreaking. I've been, this is my home. I believe in it, and yet I don't have confidence that we can go forward into the future because we don't control our own destiny. Ed Yeager has been living at the amalgamated houses since the 1940s. His parents brought him here as an infant. The sprawling complex in the Northwest Bronx was founded by a union about 100 years ago to provide affordable housing for middle income families. But soon, living at his beloved complex could grow difficult. The co-op general manager tells PIX11 that they don't have the nearly $15 million it would take to fix the plumbing problems in its gas system, nor enough time to meet the city's deadline to make repairs. It's a life safety issue, and knowing that we have defects on 10 of our 13 buildings on the plumbing, on the gas plumbing system, the natural, uh, rational thing to do is shut down the gas because we know that we need critical repairs. He says a city law passed in 2016 requires buildings to perform mandatory inspections to gas systems and sets a deadline for needed repairs. Oh. Amalgamated buildings require state approval to refinance, but that was denied, cutting their chances of meeting a deadline to make needed repairs. With just weeks to go, the co-op plans to shut off gas for more than 800 of its nearly 1,500 units to avoid being in violation. The looming deadline is causing concern for residents, many of them seniors on a fixed income. People who still want to be, you know, have a good quality of life. And it's really difficult. I don't want to go into a nursing home or, a, you know, assisted living. I want to be able, as long as I can, to take care of myself. The local assemblyman Jeffrey Dinowood says he has been calling on the city council and state to step in. Losing anything here would be a disaster. The governor has made a centerpiece of her budget this year, creating 800,000 units of housing. Well, here's something that the state should do, preserve 1,500 units of housing. We reached out to the state agencies involved. A representative told us they'll get back to us with a statement. Meantime, the assembly member says he's working on arranging a meeting with all the stakeholders involved to see if something can be done to avoid this gas shutoff. In Van Cortland Village in the Bronx, Amy Yancey, PIX11 News.